Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be experimenting a little bit with Candy 2O Black on top of a foil. Uh, you can use any kind of foil, this can be a holographic foil but even aluminium tape or silver tape can also be used to achieve kind of the same effect. The most important thing is that you use a colored Candy 2O onto your foil and then cover it with Candy 2O Black and that really gives a really cool effect and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Alright, let's begin the experiment. I got two jerk baits here from Lure Blanks and I hot stamped these with a foil also from Lure Blanks. First I'm gonna give these a little bit of color, a little bit of black and silver on top of there to just hide those seams and make the whole lure metallic and then we're gonna do our experiment. Right, so now our quicksilver is dry. The next step will be to put on our color uh, with the candy 2O. Now I think it's really important that we use a very bright color because if we're going to go too dark, for instance use a candy 2O blood red or something, I think it's going to be too dark and with the black on top of that, the effect is going to be way less. So I think we need to stay very bright with our candies which is a little bit more difficult because candies do want to get dark really quick if you build up layers. So I think the key will be to use bright colored candies and layer them very thin on there. First of all I'm gonna use Candy 2 o Poison Green for this one. This is a nice bright green and we're just gonna do a few coats of that mixed with a little bit of 4050 and 4011. Right, for the grabber orange mix, I'm gonna mix a little bit of lemon yellow in there just to make it brighter, just to make sure that my orange is not going to be too dark. And I'm adding a little bit more 4050 just to make it a little bit thicker because it was a lot of candy compared to the amount of 4050 I had in there and I want my paint to be a little thicker so I can build up one nice layer at a time because if it's too thin it's gonna run away too, too easily you're gonna get spider webbing or building up paint in certain places and you don't want that so I always like my paint to be a little bit thicker Alright, and our candy poison green is dry. We're gonna cover the entire lure with candy 2O black. Alright guys, our lures are finished and as you can see the effect is really cool and it's very simple to paint. You just need a foil and two colors of candy. And that black actually almost disappears when, when that light hits the foil. So that is a really great combo to create. As you can see a really dark lure but when it hits the light there is still something there, it's not it's not an opaque black lure, it's not 
there's more to it, which makes a uh, which makes this lore very interesting and really cool. Here's the other one, and that is just really cool. As you can see, it's a really dark lore, but once that light hits it, you see that foil again, which makes this lore a little bit reflective and really shiny. And that is just so cool. Now you can just leave these lures as they are, or you can paint a little fin on there, finish them up a little, do some details. You can do whatever you want from starting from this base. I might give them a little bit of a fluorescent tail or something, because that really gives a high contrast with the black and everything. And a tiny fin probably as well, just to finish them off. But they are really, really cool. The effect is really cool. Green is my favorite with this foil. Yeah, such a simple but cool effect. As always guys, I will leave a link in the description down below for all the materials that I used to paint this lure. This will guide you to my web shop and if you would buy anything there, you will be supporting me and the channel. If you got any questions or suggestions or you want to share some knowledge with the lure painting community, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you next time. Bye bye.